welcome to another vlogmas video today's video is so exciting because i am unboxing my iphone 12 pro this is the 12 pro not the 12 pro max the max is just too big for me personally i have the xs max i know 10s max whatever you want to say it's pretty much the same thing i don't know all the technical specs but this is a very large phone and i really wanted the big phone when it came out i don't really like pop sockets so i don't know i've just been having a hard time like with this phone um i can't text with one hand you definitely need two hands i didn't want that so i decided to go with the smaller version quick little side note to include in this video when they delivered this they did not ask for a signature the guy literally just like plopped it on my little step to the door. That kind of made me scared. Like what if someone just came up to my door and stole this? Um, I also got a screen protector. I got a three pack. I also got the white silicone iPhone 12 case. And I'm so mad that they did not have pink sand. They got, they eliminated this color and it made me really sad. But other than that, let's just get on into unboxing this. This is kind of like my Christmas present to myself because it's, you know, why not? All right, I'm gonna open it now. I'm so excited. I don't know. I just geek out over luxury and iPhones. Kind of came attached like that. It's really good because it's like sturdy. And even if the mail carrier like threw it on my door, I think it would like stay put. Ooh, it's so pretty. Totally geeking out right now. Okay, let's. Okay, there we go. Like everyone says in these videos, this box is like super thin. Like, look at that crazy and it's the black box very interesting because i got the pro version normally all of the boxes are white so that's weird uh so let's go ahead and do the famous peeling of the plastic get a little asmr in here There's a reason why I don't do ASMR on this channel. All right, so here we go. This is the box looks like. Opening this on up. The anticipation is real. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Also, like everyone says, there's a little cutout for the camera in here. And here's the iPhone. Oh my gosh, it's like I don't want to touch it, even though I just like touched it. All right. It looks more white on camera just because of like my exposure, but I swear it's the gold one. Um, I just really like the gold. The reason why I chose to get the gold, I'm trying not to touch the sides, is because honestly, when you look at the side like this, I mean, look at that. It looks like a gold bar. As superficial as that sounds, this thing is like so freaking pretty. I mean, look at that. Definitely gonna get a lot of fingerprints on that if you don't have a case and stuff and maybe scratches. But overall, this is why I got the phone and the size is phenomenal. I already like it. All right, I'm gonna have to get prints on it anyway because I have to put my SIM card in there. They have this little paper peel thing, which I'll do the peel a little later. In comparison, they kind of weigh the same to me. This one being a little bit heavier just because obviously it's a bigger phone. I think I said this in my last video about an iPhone. The iPhone 5 was my absolute favorite phone. I love the size, I love the design just everything about it. And this resembles a lot of the iPhone 5, the size, the design and everything. So I'm really thrilled about it. Actually, before we get into the peeling of the screen, might as well show you the two other things that come in the box. So we have the charger. I didn't get the block, the charging adapter thing because I didn't want to spend another $20. I have iPhone chargers already and I know it'll take like longer for my phone to charge, but it's fine. I just don't really want to spend the money. If I do end up getting it, like I'll get it, it's 20 bucks. But right now I think I'm fine with what I have. Um, and then we have this little car holder this is kind of cute it's like boxish no one ever said that in the videos i don't know if you can see too clearly but it's i thought it was gonna be flatter but it is just the information oh i'm gonna need that to get my sim card so it comes with this little tool to get your sim out of your old phone the apple sticker if you guys didn't know i collect apple stickers i know that's kind of nerdy but whatever before you use this iPhone, safety and handling. So that is the exciting things that come in the box. Kind of anticlimactic, and if you've watched like a million of these videos like I have, that's just like you already have skipped over this part. Ooh. 
Look how pretty. Oh, before anything like massive gets on the screen, I'm gonna put my screen protector on now. One eternity later. Um, it took me literally three tries to get the screen protector on and I finally did. It's nice and straight. I don't see any hairs. There's no bubbles, but again, it took me three times and luckily there was three screen protectors that came in the pack. So um, yeah, this is my new phone. I love it. I just wanted to do a comparison with the two phones. So this is the iPhone XS Max and then this one is the iPhone 12 Pro. Honestly, there's not a huge difference in the size. Um, clearly the XS Max, because it's a Max phone, is larger. Um, but if you put them back to back, their size isn't too far off. The length is obviously a lot more noticeable. I did want to give thanks to the iPhone XS Max for being such a good phone. I think it's beautiful. I love this gold, but the size is just a little bit big for me. I love the camera. That's why I didn't necessarily upgrade um, to the 11 when it came out. I love this design. This is a very pretty design, but this phone is a lot more practical and fits my hand a lot better. I just want to show you guys what the silicone Apple case looks like on the 12 Pro. Very clean very sleek and I absolutely love that they included the entire border and on the bottom I really wanted to try the case to buy cases which I might end up just buying one low-key wish they would reach out to me <laughs> but um it's fine I really like these cases though I love the feeling in my hand and now I'm going to just transfer everything uh from my old phone to this phone it's really weird downsizing as they say um but I just think overall I'll really like this phone a lot better um, this is pretty much it for the unboxing. Here is a close-up of the phone. I love the three cameras. I'm really grateful to have been able to get this phone this year. I did in fact wait a couple years before upgrading, which I normally, back in the day, old Alex would get the new phone every time just because I loved the new devices. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below. The question of the day is, what was your favorite iPhone model? I am definitely team iPhone and my favorite model was the iPhone 5 series um, with the traditional home button, the box shape, everything like that. I like the white slash silver version. Um, so let me know down below. If you don't like Apple, um, you could just put like team Android or whatever. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.